Under the newly created CMN700 component, you can find the specification and architecture of your CMN700. The specification is a definition of the mesh, its interfaces, and parameters. Selecting specification under the CMN700 component brings up the main specification page where you can set the global parameters of your CMN700. These include settings such as peripheral base address map, metadata preservation mode, and system physical address with etc. All these different settings include tooltips to provide explanation and help understanding how they affect CMN700 design. This will be displayed if you hover your mouse above a particular option. The architecture is a definition of the configured CMN700 mesh. In this section, you can find the instances of your CMN700 mesh with their name and their versions. By clicking on the graph window, you can open the mesh editor. The mesh editor shown in the middle is the graphical representation of the mesh network where you can make changes to the number and the types of nodes. On the top right corner of the Mesh Editor page, you have the icons to launching the different automation flows, which are the following from left to right. Export Graph View to JPEG. Run the built-in design rule checks. Generate the CMN700 deliverables based on the created mesh. Resize mesh to change the number of vertical and horizontal XPs. This flow provides advice on any device modifications required by the flow. For example, the maximum number of device ports on XPs might be reduced if a mesh increases in size and the XP location changes from edge to internal. Therefore, devices on the access device port become unassigned. The mesh resize process might cause devices to be unassigned or design rules to be violated. Therefore, you will probably need to make manual updates to complete configuration. Here in the Mesh Editor, you have all your CMN700 interfaces represented by a different named blocks with different colors. If you hover your mouse over any of them, you can see the instance name, component name, device type, node ID, and device port with some explanation about the device type. You can also hover over your XPs to see their coordinates, DTS domains, a clock domain, and DN domain information. If you click on the interface or XP, the middle right palette window will show the description of the highlighted device on the mesh editor. We will now demonstrate the possible options that you can do on the Mesh Editor. Swap devices on two device ports of different XPs. Dragging a device from one port to another will swap them in the Mesh. Unassign devices from the XP device port. Right click on the device and select Unpopulate. Move devices from one device port to another. Dragging a device from one device port to an empty one will move it to its new location. Remove or add device ports to XP. Right click on the XP and select the number of ports. Assign devices to XP ports. Right click on the device port and select Assign. Select the desired device port and click Assign. Select from already configured devices or create a new one and click Finish. Assign XP to a clock, DTC, or DN domain. Select the XP or a several XPs. Right click and select 
update clock domain or DTC domain or DN domain. The basic structure of CMN700 is a configurable rectangular grid that is composed of a network of routers referred as cross points and CHA compliant devices. Each cross point must be assigned to a clock domain. This will be G clock 0 by default. Cross points assigned to the same clock domain must be contiguous. All the cross points in the network do not have to be assigned to the same clock domain. The CMN700 model supports the following debug and trace controller domains. In a system compromising multiple DTCs, the one located inside the HND is designated as the master DTC or DTC0. The number of HNT nodes in the mesh determines the, the number of DTC domains. The CMN700 model supports the following distributed virtual memory node, which in short, DN domains. A DN is responsible for handling distributed virtual memory messages. Each DN is a part of a DN domain. Add device credited slices, DCS, between an XP and connecting device. Launch the assignment window by double clicking on the device. Add up to four registers between the selected device and the connecting XP to fine tune timing on that path. And click finish. Add a synchronous mesh credited slice between two cross points. Launch the assignment window. Select the MCS subsection under the desired XP. Select the checkbox to add an AMCS between the selected cross point and MSC if needed. And click finish. An asynchronous mesh credit slice allows clock domain crossing between XPs in a different clock domains. If you want to add AMBA domain bridge ADB and CHA domain bridge CDP to your configuration, right click on the device port and select ADB or similarly select CDB. You can also add CXS domain bridges to your CCG device port. Right click on the device port and select Add CXS DB. You can also add component aggregation layer, which in short CAL, for the available nodes. Just right click on the device port and select CAL. You can select the CAL type and click apply or apply to all. The additional node is added automatically and node IDs are visible on the mesh. The last option we have is to modify device parameter. All parameters corresponding to the selected device are editable. You can also use the modified parameter values to all devices of the same type in the created mesh using the tick box in the configuration wizard.